Hey, what's going on guys? Jake Verdon Tech here, and today we're going to be unboxing the Raspberry Pi 4, the 4GB model, and we are going to be installing the 52Pi low profile ice tower cooler along with the 52Pi case that comes in this kit. So I'm just going to play the footage of me installing this kit onto my Raspberry Pi 4, then at the end I'm going to have an overview going over some of the steps to install this kit onto your Raspberry Pi 4 and just an overall review of the product itself. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you're still kind of confused on the installation process, make sure you stick around to the end where I will be answering more questions more in depth on the steps to install this kit. With all that out of the way, let's get started. <laughs>
is the complete install of the 52 Pi Ice Tower Low Profile Cooler along with the 52 Pi case that it comes with in the kit. Overall I really like this build and the assembly wasn't too hard. It's not super straightforward and that's why we're going to be going over some of the steps right now. Alrighty guys, so first things first, step one is to mount the brackets onto the CPU cooler itself. Um, this can be kind of strange and hopefully my footage was good so you guys can tell what was going on as far as the assembly goes. I'm going to try to explain this as best as I possibly can. So your finished product as you guys can see from the video should look something like this. To where you have your copper heat pipes pointing towards all of your IO ports. So that's one thing to keep in mind and then when you take a look at the brackets so the bracket that has a pretty good sized loop in it that is designed to go by your um, HDMI or your audio HDMI and your USB type C and the other bracket the one that's a little bit more squared off is actually designed to kind of butt up to the back of your Ethernet port and move around this little four pin header on the PCB alrighty guys so next comes mounting the standoffs to the cooler and this is where things can get a little tricky and you actually have to really plan ahead on this part and this is why I say this kit isn't super straightforward both components are made by the same company but I don't think they were actually meant to go together but they do have the capability to as we did here um, when you get the cooler it comes in a box that has the cooler and then just a piece of acrylic with the hardware so I think it was just meant for the acrylic and the case actually only has two threaded standoffs. So I'm going to go into this and explain it a little bit better. So this is where this kit gets a little tricky. Um, you're basically the bracket that is more squared off that is designed to go around that four pin. You're going to have those standoffs facing down where the threads go through the PCB and are visible on the back side. Now on the side where you have the more looped bracket, where it's got your IO for your type C port, your HDMI and audio port, on that bracket you're actually going to have those standoffs coming up through. And the reason for mounting these standoffs this way, it's basically because we only have two standoffs on our case. So we have one set of standoffs pointing down that goes straight through the PCB. Those are the actual ones we'll be mounting to the case and the other ones are actually just going to hold the cooler to the raspberry pi itself a little bit better one thing that i've completely forgot to film was the thermal pads we use the ice tower cooler does come with a couple thermal pads i recommend using those you can use paste but paste can get a little bit messy and the thermal pads from what i've heard have just as good of performance so make sure you stick one of these on your cpu before you mount the cooler even though i would have liked to have seen a total of four standoffs um, one for each corner of the raspberry pi it actually sets in there pretty nice where the bottom side here where we have our type c hdmi and audio it actually slides in there embraces it pretty nice and provides really good support feels pretty solid it's a little confusing getting this mounted up and that's why i'm trying to go through it with you guys trying to explain it as best as i can but that's pretty much all there is to mounting it. And before you guys mount the Raspberry Pi into the case, I recommend you go ahead and wire up the Ice Tower cooler. Um, it's really simple and really quick. So it basically mounts to a five volt pin and then a ground pin. So if you have your 40 pin header down at the bottom, basically it's gonna be the bottom row of pins. You're gonna go all the way to the end. You're gonna skip one. And then that's where you're going to mount your or place your red 5 volt pin and then the next one over is going to be your ground so pretty easy on that part lastly slide the raspberry pi into the case and thread the screws into the standoffs of the case and that's pretty much it you now have the 52 pi ice tower cooler and 52 pi case installed on your raspberry pi 4. Overall, I think this is a really good solution for somebody looking for a high performance cooler, 
but not something so big where they don't have a case for it. If you guys have any additional questions about this kit or installation, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to them as soon as possible. If you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more tech related videos, be sure to subscribe. As always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.